The day is finally here. A day which is over a decade in the making. On Friday afternoon, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets will make their return to the NCAA tournament. No. 9 Georgia Tech, 17-8, versus no. 8 Loyola Chicago, 24-4, Ken Palm Rankings, Georgia Tech 31, Loyola Chicago 9. Efficiency Rankings, Georgia Tech, Offense 113.5, 25th, Defense 94.7, 51st, Loyola Chicago, Offense 110.6, 49th, Defense 86.9, 3rd, Ken Palm Prediction, Georgia Tech 63 Loyola Chicago 66. Georgia Tech is given a 39% chance to win. About Loyola lays start of by stating this is a very good Loyola Chicago team. They are ranked inside the top 10 on Ken Palm and most people will tell you this team is more talented than the team which made the Final Four back in 2018. They are incredibly well coached and play stifling defense, as evidenced by their top 5 defensive ranking. Players to watch Missouri Valley Player of the Year Cameron Crutwig, 15.0 points, 6.7 rebounds, 3.0 assists, 57.9% FG, 0.0% 3PT FG, 67.4% FT, is the big name to watch here. Fans may recognize his name as he was a freshman on the 2018 Final Four squad. A very old school center, he does his work almost entirely in the post but also leads the team in assists. Another name to know is MVC Defensive Player of the Year Lucas Williamson, 8.2 points, 3.8 rebounds, 2.1 assists, 42.3% FG, 36.0% 3PT FG, 79.5% FT. Williamson was second on the team in scoring and led the team in assists. Other key contributors are Braden Norris, 8.1 points, 2.9 rebounds, 2.9 assists, 43.6% FG, 40.0% 3PT FG, 82.9% FT, Keith Clemens, 7.4 points, 1.5 rebounds, 1.5 assists, 46.4% FG, 46.7% 3PT FG, 73.5% FT, Ahar Uguak, 7.6 points, 4.1 rebounds, 1.3 assists, 62.9% FG, 35.5% 3PT FG, 73.5% FT, and Marquise Kennedy, 7.1 points, 3.5 rebounds, 1.4 assists, 49.6% FG, 23.3% 3PT FG, 84.3% FT, about Georgia Tech obviously, the big news at this point is the loss of Moses Wright. The ACC Player of the Year will not be in action due to COVID protocols. The loss is felt even greater given that the front court is the area with the least depth for the Jackets. Will Rodney Howard see significant minutes? Will Tech go with an ultra-small lineup which pushes Jordan Usher or Khalid Moore to the five? We will have to wait and see what Josh Pastner has in the game plan.